to the lecture series of basic electrical engineering in this we are going to see the module number 5 it is measurement and instrumentation the topic to be covered is functional elements of a measuring instruments okay the module name says that it is measurement and instrumentation so is both is related or both is different from from each that we should know a method to obtain the information regarding the physical values of the variable is known as the measurement so measurement is nothing but a method so by various method we can get the information of the physical values we can use a particular method that is known as the measurement and one more thing is the instrumentation that is also our topic what is meant by instrumentation it is nothing but a device used for measurement of that system so that is the measurement system or instrumentation the group of devices or a single device used for measurement system for measuring these values is known as the instrumentation so where we are applying this measurement instrumentation so the instrumentation or measurements or measurement of quantity by means of instrument is applied in home for example thermometer a barometer and by watching the time is also is there that is also a measurement so based on that we are applying that then a road or vehicles in vehicles these are all the things which you may see daily in TV or in uh, real time you may be used that is the road vehicles in that you can see the speedometer so that is also a measuring instrument to measure the speed that is the variable and you can see the fuel gauge in the fuel gauge you can see petrol is full or half tank are going to get reserved there also there is a measurement of the quantity of the volume of a fuel and similarly in this screen yeah, you can see the automation so measure of various parameters are there in field of automation maybe process automation or maybe product automation whatever it may be and next one is as, as usual process automation for a particular process we may control what is the steam pressure what is the control temperature so everything is being measured by means of the instrument and next we are coming for boiler for example if we take a thermal power plant there we want to measure the value of the temperature of the steam because there are three sets of steam over there in the uh, thermal power station one is the wet steam next one is the dry steam then superheated steam with particular values so that can be measured by using this boiler control in the boiler control measuring system is required the measure end is nothing but the temperature the device or the instrument used is maybe a thermometer so these are all the basic application so to understand this concept we are getting into this module so in our topic in that the measurements the measurement of the given quantity is an act or the result of the comparison between the quantity when the magnitude is unknown it is an act so if something is given so we want to uh, compare the same thing with the unknown uh, known quantity or we want to find its magnitude by using a predefined standard for example kilogram so we will name it as kilogram as a standard so in other countries they may be using pound pound is their standard but we are using kilogram here so kilogram is a standard so it can be controlled when we go to a market they can be placing the uh, values in the kilograms maybe vegetable or maybe rice whatever it may be we are measuring in kilogram so both should be equal then we are getting the particular numerical number that that is kept in our mind for that particular quantity what are the basic requirements of measurement so the basic requirement requirement of measurement is the standard so we can name it as kilogram is also a standard and uh, if you come to length it a meter is a, actually a standard and uh, many standards are there so mass length and force is also a standard in that speed so it can be measured with the comparison of the particular standard that can be accepted by all universally it should be accepted so kilogram is everywhere a kilogram 
is not uh, in a different name and similarly the apparatus used and the method adopted must be provable for example we are using a uh, weighing machine to measure the kilogram so it is universally accepted there is no change in that so we are always using that method if it is a different method it should be get approved by means of that standard those who are giving the standards which can be uh, seen in the forthcoming classes for our subject we are going to concentrate more on electrical measurements and electrical and electronic instruments in this and what are all the standards provided for our subject we are going to see in detail in this module so some terminologies we have to keep in mind some physical quantity what is meant by physical quantity so variable such as pressure is a physical quantity so it is varying with respect to time and temperature is also physical quantity it is also not constant for example morning you may be having a low temperature and in the afternoon time you will be having a little bit more temperature that is the maximum temperature will be reached in the mid of the day then once again it will be reduced in the night to a lower level so it is varying with respect to time so this is also one more physical quantity mass the mass of the component is different in different planets okay so that is also a physical quantity length so length can be measured for example if you want to draw a line of this centimeter so that is also a physical quantity so it is changes it is a variable that has changes from place to place and usage also it may change next one is the data what is meant by data we know in modern days we are using this word frequently data is nothing but information that may be obtained from instruments or measurement system as the result of measurement made, uh, made based on the physical quantities so the values of these physical quantities is nothing but a data by this data only we are doing data processing data analytics many subjects came into picture so this is the key point everywhere and the information data that has calibrated numerical relationship to the physical quantity is known as information so the data for example i am taking the value of pressure in terms of bar so it is actually information the data is calibrated in the numerical relationship with the physical quantity i have the numbers for example this much bar 10 bar for example temperature 10 degrees 20 degrees so it has a numerical relationship with that physical quantity and one more is the parameter so it is parameter is nothing but physical quantity within defined limits for example uh, we were fixed with the temperature operating between 0 to 100 degree if it is uh, below 100 degree uh, it is not limited to us but it, in case of industry it is, it is acceptable but uh, in regular uh, home or wherever we use we are not accepting this standard because it, our limit is between that range okay so that is about the parameters what is the purpose of the measurement system so this is the good topic to be learned why we want to measure for example we have the process for example we may consider a steam power plant the steam power plant what we are doing we are boiling the water so that is the process boiling the water is the process so we are giving some inputs so inputs is nothing but the temperature or heat we are giving it is measured in the terms of temperature the temperature is the true value of the variable and it should be measured it is known as a measure and for that we are using a measurement system the measurement system may be a sensor may be a signal conditioning may be display for example same steam power plant same boiler is there same heat is there it is in the variable form of temperature physical quantity so i am using a measurement system for example i am using a thermometer maybe analog type with mercury or a digital type so it has some uh, uh, sensor to sense the value okay and in case of digital thermistors are used thermistor with respect to temperature it may produce the voltage or current and that and, and once again it is conditioned signal is con conditioned according to the display for example analog signal may be con uh, converted to digital signal because the 
display we are using or a digital thermometer we are using only have the values in digital so for that we have to convert it in our format what we are using so it is in the digital format so we are sensing the temperature which is in the analog form and we are converting to digital form and it is converted to some uh, some zeros and ones binary codes and once again it is di displayed in the seven segment display maybe lcd display or led display so this is the measurement system and that measurement measured value is once again monitored by the human that is the observer or some control devices for example if you are monitoring the temperature manually so what will happen you felt that the temperature is more in this process so automatically you go and reduce the temperature or in case if you are using automatic temperature monitoring system with the reference value what you are given to this observer or tracking or control it automatically reduces the temperature so this is the open loop system if you use that one it become the closed loop system where the temperature is controlled automatically so this is the purpose of the measurement <coughs> so in the measurement system what are all the things will be there so this is the block diagram which represent the same so here what is the quantity to be measured maybe voltage current so as we are speaking here electrically we will go for electrical components for example you want to measure the voltage so for measuring the voltage or current or whatever it may be we need a primary sensing element so whatever may be the sensor which is used to measure for example uh, we can consider that a voltmeter so a voltmeter you are taking primary sensing element is nothing but the terminals potential difference between the two ends so we are taking it and the variable conversion variable manage, uh, manipulation element maybe data conditioning can be come into this one so here you can see that uh, block by block so the variable conversion for example if you are using the voltage so it has to be converted in a proper way where we can see and it should be transmitted so here you can see the moving mechanism in the next block diagram we'll have a good example of that and if you want you can store the data and you can represent the data also for the observer so one thing we can take for example strip chart recorder or xy recorder as a device used to record the voltage variation in the generating stations so here you can see the sine wave so here uh, the voltage is actually sensed by the sensing elements maybe x and y plot it can be sensed and the variable is converted in the form of the uh, signals which it can operate the pin and this uh, x and y moment of that pin so that the data is transmitted to the stepper motors where it can operate and it can be stored also in case of digital format it may be in the analog format and it can be seen by the observer also or it can be stored by the observer also so this is generally known as a measurement system here the same block diagram is uh, analogous to the uh, meter here you can see current is coming the moving coil is used to sense that current that is the primary sensing the magnet and other components are there due to the interaction of the both we will be getting a force so this magnet and other components known as the data conditioning the values of the current is conditioned in this with the interaction of the magnetic force so due to these both forces we'll get one more deflecting torque the deflecting torque will produce the mechanical linkage that mechanical linkage is nothing but the data transmission so it is trans this force is transmitted in the spindle the spindle has the pointer which is moving over the scale so it is measured in the scale so the same current analog meter the same current is measured so this is the basic measurement system for understanding we have taken in the analogy of the uh, analog meter so the functional element has the primary sensing element so we can come to the conclusion variable conversion manipulation and transmission elements and data representation element so one more easy generalized block diagram i'll get here here we are measuring the unknown element for that we have the primary sensing element variable conversion element variable manipulation element data transmission element and data representation element once again we are getting the output so this is the modified uh, theory of the previous one where you can see the primary the first it is determined by the primary so we we have seen already the example similar to this 
So what is the measuring quantity that has to reach the primary sensing element which has to be converted first for processing. Uh, it may be uh, the physical variables such as displacement, voltage, current, whatever it may be. Then the output primary sensing element, what it read is converted to the suitable value for example analog or digital, digital to analog. In between a transducer will be there for the conversion. Then it is required to be manipulated in case of digital meters it should be amplified filtered or some signal conditioning or some conversion has to happen in the manipulation stage so that is the st uh, third stage then the fourth is data transmission the converted value has to be transmitted in other form so that it is easy for the operator to view it so it should be transmitted in that required form and finally data representation elements usually in the previous example we have seen a scale and the pointer it is meant for the data representation in case of digital meter there is a seven segment display which is used for the uh, digital uh, representation of the values so here in case of data has to be monitored visual display devices are needed these devices may be analog or digital such as a meter voltmeter in case of data has to be recorded, we have discussed already XY recorder, the magnetic tapes, high speed cameras and TV equipments or CRT or printer may be used. For control and analysis purpose, we surely need a computer and microprocessor. The final stage of measure measurement system is nothing but the terminating stage, that is the output. Here you can see that instruments. So these instruments is a device which can determine the magnitude or value of the quantity of the measurement the measuring quantity may be voltage current power or energy so little bit we are narrowing our topic to the electric instrument so here you can see a, vol a voltmeter and here a multimeter and here an a meter which is known as the instruments so generally the instrument may be classified as analog type instruments where a pointer and scale arrangement will be there one more type is the digital instrument. We have the seven segment display in LED or LCD will be there. <coughs> and here the terminology, what is the terminology we have to keep in mind? That is the measure end. Measure end is nothing but the physical quantity that has to be measured. Calibration. So this is very, very, very important in the instrumentation field. It implies the numerical relationship. So we have to calibrate the meter with a standard system. So it can, and the standard system is nothing but national or international approved standard system. With that, we have to compare our value and we have to set it right. Test instruments, instrumentation is nothing but a branch of instrumentation which is associates, associated with the task of gathering the data during the various development phases. Example, uh, we can take the flight test instrument, instrumentation for testing and approving the aircraft because it is more sensitive so that is the test instrumentation so these are all the very important definitions we are going to see about the instruments that is the characteristics of instruments so as we discussed already calibration all the static characteristics are obtained in form or other form by means of a process called calibration that is we have a particular standard we have to refer it calibration procedure involves the comparison between the particular instrument with either the primary standard or a secondary standard or an instrument of known accuracy so this has to be verified by means of the calibration so usually you have to calibrate all your meters maybe in terms of certain span maybe six months or uh, one year so we have to calibrate the particular instrument next very important is accuracy what is meant by accuracy so it is meant for an instrument in that it is defined as the ability of a device or a system to respond to true value of the measured variable under reference condition accuracy it is the exact value that system that is exact value or true value the system should respond under reference conditions so this is very very important all the measuring instruments should be accurate otherwise we will get a wrong data and it is invalid next one is precision it is nothing but the degree of exactness precision is nothing but the degree of exactness so it can be defined as a degree of exactness of 
an instrument which is designed or intended to perform for example if voltmeter is uh, reading a value of voltage it should be have the degree of exactness which is intended to do so it should be there and the repeatability so this is also one of the key character of an instrument it is the closeness of arrangement among number of consecutive measurement of output for same value of the input under same operating condition for example if you are measuring the voltage uh, for example 10 times also you should get the same 10 volt in case it should not once it should not come 9 once, uh, once again it should not come 10 once again it should not show 15 that is a not repeatability so always it should have the same value under same operating condition then next one is the reproducibility it is the closeness of an agreement among the repeated measurement of the output for same value of the input made under same operating condition over a period of time so uh, for example today you are measuring if tomorrow you are getting a different reading that is not reproducibility it should be reproduced every day every month every year whenever you measure it should be intended to do, to do the same task for that particular instrument and as next one we are coming to the drift it is defined as the undesired change of gradual variation in the output for period of time that is unrelated to change of the input operating condition for example if you are doing uh, if you are using the magnetic devices there may be a loss in its uh, magnetism of the permanent magnet so it may change its characteristics so that should not be there that undesired change should not be there with respect to the time next one is the span it is also a very very important key term in the terms of measurement and instrumentation if a measuring instrument at highest point of calibration is y units and the lowest point of x units then the instrument range from y units so the instrument span is given by x minus y units for the voltage level 0 to 200 means that is the span of that measuring instrument sensitivity this is also a very 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 important in case of instrumentation it is defined as the ratio of output divided by input in motors we might have studied about the efficiency similarly in instrumentation we should be aware of the sensitivity so what is the output divided by what is the input that is known as the sensitivity next you are going for the resolution so the resolution is nothing but the smallest increment in the input which can be detected with certainty by the instrument in its resolution that is when you are measuring the quantity so it should be detected with certainty of the instrument that is uh, you may talk about the resolution in a screen so similarly here we are talking about the resolution in the measured value dead zone dead zone is the largest range of values of measured variable to which the instrument does not respond for example if the ammeter measuring above the range or beyond the range that is 0 to 30 is the range of a voltmeter if it is measuring beyond 0 or above 30 there is no use of using that meter so if the instrument is doing such uh, value while measuring so it is known as the dead zone so these are all about the basic of the measurement and instrumentation and functional elements its block diagram its example and some characteristics of the instruments thank you for watching